Hi everyone! Thanks for tuning in to EDU in 90. Today's episode starts a two-part series on accessibility features in G Suite for Education. As a teacher, when you create learning materials with accessibility in mind, you're fostering an inclusive environment for everyone, including those with disabilities or unique learning styles. Today, we'll start our series by sharing a number of ways to make your text more accessible. In most of our examples, we'll be talking about Google Docs, but know that most of these features are available in Google Slides too. So let's get started with some basic formatting. To make your text as easy to read as possible, try using a font size of at least 12 points and ensuring that your text is left aligned. Justify text that stretches from margin to margin may look tidy, but it can also be harder to read. Now, before we move on, let's take a moment to talk about screen readers. Screen readers convert the words in a doc to spoken text and are often used by students who are blind or visually impaired. With a screen reader and keyboard shortcuts, students can read, edit, and comment on text. By the way, if your classroom uses Chromebooks, they come with a built-in screen reader called Chromevox that brings the speed, simplicity, and security of Chromebooks to your vision-impaired students too. Chromevox is pre-installed, so there's nothing you have to do besides turn it on. For more information on Chromevox, check comments below. Thanks, May. Understanding screen readers will help us with our next topic, links. When a screen reader comes across a link in a doc, by default, it reads your link text, whether it says click here or is a long URL. To make your links more accessible, describe what they are and where they lead to using informative link text. This just means explaining what you're linking to in your text. So instead of writing click here for a link, you might write something more descriptive like go to Thursday's assignment notes or click for class syllabus. Another important thing to know about screen readers is that they can't always announce formatting elements such as bolded or highlighted text. That's why it's a good idea to use words to support your formatting like writing the word important in front of bolded or highlighted text. Finally, you may already be using the commenting and suggesting features in Google Docs when you provide feedback on students' work. These features are also a great way to make your docs more accessible because students with screen readers can jump to those parts of the doc using keyboard shortcuts instead of searching through the text for your notes. So there it is a quick rundown of ways you can make your text more accessible for your students, colleagues, and community. With a few small changes to the way you work in Google Docs and Slides, you can make it easier for everyone to access, read, and digest your materials. On our next episode, we'll share ways to make your images and tables more accessible, plus share formatting tips to help everyone better navigate your docs. See you here next time, and on our Google for Education channel, anytime. Subscribe to our channel now to stay in the know with what's new. Check out our last episode to learn about Google's free applied digital skills curriculum. These video-based lessons teach students essential digital and life skills by having them work on creative projects.